Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm a certified instructor at ASM Educational Center. This is our homepage, asmed.com. If you go in the top right here and click on information technology pages, that takes you to our this page. And here, as you see, we have Microsoft Azure courses, a bunch of Microsoft Azure courses right here. We offer fundamental, administrator, solution architecture, and, uh, and also uh, art architecture technology and also on here we do offer some bunch of courses on Amazon too and uh, we have a lot of blogs on Amazon so these are Amazon courses we offer and these are on the blogs you can see all of our blogs right here we have Amazon AWS and also we have Microsoft Azure right here too so uh, basically today what I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about Microsoft Azure we're going to create VNet we're going to create subnets and virtual machine okay so what does that mean the goal of this lab is to create VNet. Now, if you are familiar with the um, AWS VNet, it's as VPC. So we're going to create VNet as this network, 10.0.0.16. Then inside this, I'm going to create a bunch of subnet. I'm going to public subnet number one, 10.0.1.0.24. So this is a slash 16 is as whole network. Then we're going to have dot .1, and dot .3 with the slash 24. This going to be subnet, public subnet, private subnet and public subnet. That's the goal of the lab is. Then what we're going to do, we're going to boot a Windows 2000 server on subnet 1 and 3. And we call a Virginia Web Server 1 and Virginia Web Server 3. Then we're going to send IIS. This is called Web Server. And we will create a single home page called our index.html. And we make sure that after all is finished, we'll be able to connect from outside the world. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log into Azure portal, then we're going to create a resource group. So, so let's call the resource group, call what? Resource group web server. So I'm going to go back to here, I'm going to go back to my Azure. I'm already logged into Azure. This is Azure portal, this portal.azure right here at the home. This is home right now. Okay, if I go to the resource group, there's nothing. So I'm going to create a resource group, I'm going to start from scratch, I'm going to add, okay. And then I have already subscription. I'm going to use that subscription, and I'm going to put the name uh, resource group web server, and I'm going to put on what Virginia. I'm going to tag. I'm not going to put a tag. Review, and then what create. Okay. So right now it's creating that as a go to resource group. So that's what I've done that. So if I go back to home, okay, resource group, we have that right here. Okay. Now let's go back to home right now again. The next thing I want to do, according to my lab, <coughs> now I go top and search for VNet. This is similar to AWS VPCs and create a network is called that in Virginia. We can call out this name, okay? Then on that, inside here, VNet, we're going to create a bunch of subnets. So let's go on top, create VNet. Again, this is similar to the AWS or VPC if you're familiar with AWS. So I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to type here. VNet, okay? It's called virtual network. It's like dot dot like that. I click here. I have nothing here. I'm going to add, okay? So this is, I'm going to put this subscription. I'm going to put this is resource group, which we have it. I'm going to call that, that name. Oops, sorry about that. The name, the name I have it is called what? Um, right here, v, Virginia VNet. 10.0.0.16. So I'm call that Virginia VNet 10.0.0.0 dash 16 because I can't put the slash, okay? I'm going to put Virginia. Then I'm going to say next IP address here. Here I'm going to delete this because I want to create from, from scratch. So I delete that one. I'm going to put network 10.0.0.0 slash 16. That's a big network, okay? Then inside that, I'm going to have what? Subnet. I'm going to add subnet. On the right side, I'm going to call this public subnet 10.0.1.0-24. That's the name is. Then here, I put the subnet 10.0.1.0-24. Okay. Now, service says I'm not going to do any service. This is similar to Amazon AWS says, which I have a link. Right now, we had Amazon AWS S3 endpoint. That's similar to that. We're not going to do a service endpoint right here at all, but you can do Azure too. So I'm going to add. 
Okay, that's first one. Then I'm going to add subnet again. I'm going to call that what? Private subnet. Okay. 10.0.2.0-24. Okay. And uh, the range is going to be 10.0.2.0 zero slash 24 I'm gonna add okay so I have public subnet dot one dot two then we're gonna another one public subnet 10 dot zero dot three dot zero dash 24 and here I'm gonna put 10 dot zero dot three I'm sorry dot zero slash 24 okay so that's name right here and again you see that the range is going to be what it's going to be 251 and 5 azure reserve address which i'm going to show what are those at reserve i'm going to add okay so look at my notes right now okay on the ip address here, let's delete what is there so we're going to create new vnet which we did that and also i'm going to delete default subnet and create this subnet right here okay we will not using service that is similar to we're not going to use it well i have a lab for this for aws aws endpoint if i go to this link this is based of our um blog is we have same thing if i open new tab if i go here if you need to you can go here we have a blogs on aws s3 vpc endpoint okay so we're not going to do any any s any services here same concept on azure we can do it on amazon too all right back to here so we do that as we see when you create above subname we will have 251 ip address since five address are reserved as i mentioned that okay so what does that mean this is reserve dot zero dot one dot two dot three and dot that okay so this is dot zero dot one is a uh what do you call it router dns is dot two this is for future and that broadcast okay now i'm going to go to security tab so let's go to security tab right now so next security tab i'm going to leave everything as default i'm not going to touch none of these bash and hold this this i'm not going to enable nothing tag i'm not going to put in tag create review and create everything's by validation pass now i'm going to create that okay so right now what I did, I created what? VNet, inside of VNet, I created a bunch of what? Subnet, okay? So that's why I my so. Again, on the tab, nothing, then click next and review. When you go on the top, you can click on VNet, you will see that it's on the left side, you will see all, all your subnet. As you see on the right side, we don't have any secure group associated in here. Later, I do lab on security group, okay? Uh, sorry about the spelling security group that can be associated for subnet and interface okay so let's go back to my here i'm going back to home again here's my virtual network in the top i can go here see we have vnet that's a slash 16 okay that's a whole network here okay right here there's my address space right here slash 16 then on here you have subnets see dot one dot two dot three what i was saying that there's no secure group right here associated later on we're going to associate right here okay so that's what we have so we have a we have our main network again this is the same as vn uh, vpc on uh, amazon aws what they call a vna so that's a slash 16 when we have dot one okay slash 24 dot two slash 24 and dot three slash 24 and we have 251 hosts available okay that's that part next I go on top and I'm going to create a bunch of VMware. I'm going to call it Virginia Web Server one. I'm going to put the US East. Infrastructure, I'm going to say no. I'm going to pick Image Window 2019. I'm going to my username. I'm going to put my first and last name. The password, then I'm going to pick this subnet. Then on the security, I'm going to do this. On the network, so you're going to see that. So let's go back. <coughs> I'll go back to home again. Okay right here see virtual machine that's one way of doing that or i can do it from here too virtual machine doesn't matter i'll go here so right now i have no virtual machine eventually when i finish i'm going to have a two virtual machine virginia web server one and virginia web server three so i'm going to add virtual machine right here okay 
So this is subscription. I'm going to put in my security group right here. Uh, resource group like that, right? Virginia, I'm going to call it VA web server one. Virginia web server one. We put US. I first I'm going to know this one. I'm going to change it to Windows 2019 server right here. I'm going to leave it as a default size. Username, I'm going to put my first name, my last name, and the password. I'm going to put give it a password. Then I'm going to give it a password again. Okay. Here. I'm going to allow, right now I'm going to allow intention only RDP, okay? So I'm going to talk more detail. But you can do it with RDP and HTTP, but I'm going to just do allow RDP, okay? All right. License, I'm not going to anything. Disk. Okay. I'm going to leave it as default. We're not going to touch here, right? Then here, network key, I'm going to do some other stuff here, okay? So look what happened my notes. So. Using them that something that's secure, I'm going to give RDP default for network. I'm going to pick networks this, then I'm going to pick on first subnet for network security group. I'm going to put basic, then I'm going to put inbound 3389 and load balance. I'm going to none. So let me tell you what's going to happen here. So I'm going to pick my network right here, which is right here. I'm going to pick subnet dot one. Be careful, I'm going to pick dot one right here because that's what I have. It's going to have a new IP address that's good for secure group right I'm gonna leave it what basic okay that's what's in my notes for secure basic and I'm gonna allow only 3389 so I'm gonna allow 0.3389 okay okay low balance I'm not gonna do anything management click next I'm gonna leave everything as default I'm not gonna to touch nothing backup auto shutdown I'm gonna leave as default advanced I'm not doing any extension or custom data. This is for Linux stuff. Is we're not going to do anything here. Tag. We're not going to tag. Create. Okay. So it's going to everything pass. Now I'm going to create create. So right now it's kind of like building up my what virtual machine on subnet 10.0.1.0. Okay. And it goes through the process. It's going to create a bunch of stuff. It's going to create a security group. It's going to create IP addressing and a bunch of stuff. That's why I wrote my notes. Look what happened. I did all of this. Okay. When you create VM, it will create all these resources. When I go to resource, I'm going to see what. Regina Web Server 1. It's going to give that. That's an in, that's interface that Nick card is. I'm going to have a secure group. Regina Web Server 1 N NSG. That's my secure group, which we're going to have that. Okay. Then I'm going to have IP. That's that one. And then I'll have disk, that's my disk, and then I'm gonna virtual machine, which is virtual machine, web server one. So as soon as this is finished, we're gonna have all of this. So we've done all of that, it's in progress. It created what? Interface, you see that? It created interface, it created what? Security group, and then it created what? IP address for you. And the other one is the progresses, okay? So we just have to wait, okay? Step 14. Now I go to my VM, I RDPD, and I will install IIS. IIS means from server manager, IIS means web server because I want to make sure my machine is a web server. Then I'm going to go after it's finished and search, I'm going to see INET pop WW root. I will create a new file called what? index.html. And then in the content, I'm going to put this. This is Virginia Web Server 1 is. Okay? So we have to wait until it's finished. So right now web server one is in progress, okay? It's not finished. So it created an IP address, it created a secure group, and it created web server one. So let's go to home. Until it comes up, I'm gonna type in the word security group. So we see what we have. Okay, security. If you type in security, you wanna pick this one. Network security group, okay? All right, see? Virginia web server one, NSG okay that's the one I just show you that right here that's this one right here which is create that okay now if I click this then I have inbound and outbound okay okay the inbound we just have RDP that's what we had it okay outbound is what the default these are default that means they can talk to each other okay but inbound only allow VNet bound that means any 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 
virtual machine in the same vein that they can talk to each other but anything from outside the world they cannot you have to allow that so we have to allow RDP so let's go back to the home let's go back to all resources let's see what's have been calculated done it okay so it's create we already have this it created vserver one it created IP address it created NSG secure group it created network interface call and also this okay the next thing I want to do as I say my notes I'm gonna do what RDP to this system so I'm gonna go log in and test that I'll go back to home again go back to the virtual machine at the top click this guy okay and that's my public IP address right here okay and you see that it got 10.0.1.4 so the number that dot zero dot one dot three was reserved we got the first IP address so what I'm going to do I'm going to click connect I'm going to RDP and then I'm going to download this it's going to be right here at the bottom I'm going to connect here I'm going to say connect then I'm going to put my username and the password I'm going to remember me and then I'm going to say okay as you see I did not have to do any route table I didn't have to do IGW everything has done for you by Microsoft okay so this is what we do AWS remember on AWS we have to create a route table we have to create the IGW we have to associate a route table with a subname we have to do a lot of words but here everything's set up so right now I RDP to my what machine as soon as this comes up everything is clean I'm going to install IIS. And IIS is, is called what? It's Internet Information. So I'm going to make my machine become like a, a web server. So let's this come to wait up. If this comes up right now. Let's just wait. Okay, I'm going to say yes to here. Okay. So right now is is booting up a server manager, okay? And the server manager is gonna be at the bottom too eventually. That means we can we can get a server manager from here or we can get it from bottom. So let's just wait this comes up. Alright, so this is my server manager is coming up right now. Let's just wait. Okay, I'm gonna minimize that right here. See this is a server manager right here. So in future if you want to get the server manager right at the bottom, okay? Now what I'm going to do in the right here in the um the in here I'm going to right click it's a new folder I'm going to call this Virginia Web Server One so it's easier to troubleshoot later. Okay, I go back to my server manager right here. I'm going to say close this. Okay, right now is the progress. You see the bar. I'm going to go to local server right here. Now why I do that I'm going to explain later on. There's something that's called Internet Explorer IE in has I'm going to click on in here and turn off so that way every time I use my Internet Explorer I will not get that message of like security okay I close that one all right now what I'm going to do I'm going to make this machine act like an IIS so in order to do that you have to go under manage on the top right here add role and features I'm going to click that I'm going to say next this is web server one is next then what I'm going to do I'm going to highlight what IIS okay I'm going to add features so I want to make this becomes like a web server okay that's what the whole idea of the lab is next 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 install so as it's installing this machine what's going to happen I wrote on my notes is it's going to create a what a folder look at my notes what's going to happen when I go there so I see I went to the virtual machine then I had RDP then I saw IS from server then you're going to see this I'm going to go to C drive you're going to see new folder called inet pop www root and then you're going to create a new file index.htm so you want to put your page inside a particular folder you got to make sure you put inside only this folder okay then I'm going to call it html this is verse for the one and, and so on so let's just wait that comes up I'll go back to here okay it's in progress right now so we just have to wait okay 
as soon as it's finished then I can go create my page all right so let's be patient so it's gonna take some time right now okay and also say so you can choose this visual without interrupting us so I can close that I'm gonna close this right here because there's notification here when it's finished when I click here I can see some progress okay now if I go back to right here let's see if finish I go back to here at the bottom five Explorer I click here okay I go to this PC I go to C drive see this folder inet pop remember I told you I go here then I go WW root so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new text document. I'm going to call it index.html, okay? I double click that. I open this. I'm going to put uh, HTML right here. I just write basic stuff. This is Virginia Web Server 1. That's it. Very simple. Simple what? home page okay I close that I say close it and save it yes now what I'm going to do I'm going to test to make sure this is working in order to do that I can go open in my IE right so when this comes up ask me later I'm going to type in local host okay now, if everything looks good, it should work, okay? It did not work, it didn't pick my page, it picked up a default page. Why is that? That's the trick part is, okay? See what happened, it did not pick what? It did not pick my page, it picked a default page. The troubleshooting is that because it picked up what? Right here, this one, okay? Because see that extension, this is the file extension, I have to change that. So what happened, Microsoft has something called hidden. So I'm going to go to start at the bottom right here. So I'm just waiting it comes up. A little slow right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, there's something called hidden. I'm going to unhide the file extension. When I do that, then I can see this description index.html.txt. Then all I have to do, rename it, make sure .html. So let's wait that comes up. Okay, so I'm going here. I'm going to type in folder. Oh, it comes up. Option. Okay, let's wait. This comes up. Right here. See, change search. So I can click either this one, that one. Let's click in top one. Doesn't matter. You're gonna go view tab, and what you want to do right here extend extension I'm gonna uncheck this I'm gonna apply I'm gonna say okay see that you have dot text that's not good so what I'm gonna I'm gonna right click this rename it and get up dot text press enter say yes so you're gonna see E so you want to see that kind of icon here okay so you want to see HTML format now then I'm gonna redo it again I'm gonna open this I'm gonna open local test press enter then I see my website is working okay my website is working from here. Now, look what happened. If I go back to here, I go back to my virtual machine. Here's the key part you have to be careful. I click on Web Server 1. Here's the IP address. This is a public IP. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open new tab. I right click and paste go. See? It's not what? Working. Why is that? Here's the key. Think about it. And I wrote my notes. So I give it 20 seconds. Why is not working? Can you think of this? Hopefully you will not ask it. Look what happened. I wrote that. Again, back to here. Since my file name extension is hidden, I need to go to search box and type folder option. Then go to view tab. Then make sure hidden file extension is not checked. Then make sure that I rename it. to the, I've done this. Now if I go inside VM machine and test my website by typing locals, I, I should be able to see my website. But when I go to my laptop and paste the public IP as a VM, I, I will not see it. 
we have so why not step 16 here's the key I need to go back to check the security group sorry about that I need to go back to check security group for my VM and best way to go top and search for secure you got to make sure that you allow what the what because we have only RDP so let's go back to here see that it's not working I'll go back to here I'll go back on the home in the top I can type in secure group right here network secure group right here okay I go back to here and when I inbound rules we have only RDP so what I'm going to I'm going to add I'm going to add a new source could be this range source destination anything here I'm going to put what port 80 because that's what that I'm going to put TCP I'm going to put allow. I can put any priority and I just call it what? HTTP and add. Okay? So that's security group like that. Okay? Now notice that when I go back to security group, click on this one. Here's the key. I'm going to show you that. Okay? Let me close this. Let me go back to here again. Okay, let me go back to here. Here. Now notice that right here, see that? It's associated with what? One interface and zero subnet. That's a key thing I'm going to show you that. I'm going to do a lab that shows the difference between these two guys later on, okay? Well, for some reason that you can associate security group to subnets and or to interface. If you do it in subnet, that means every server, every virtual machine on that subnet will get this security group. If I do in, in the interface, only that PC will get that, okay? I'm going to do some labs so if, if there's a conflict, what's going to happen? So that's why I say my notes right now. Look at this. When you see version set, so go there and you will see inbound rules. Align only that. So I need to allow HTTP access to that. After align, I will test it from my laptop and I will be able to see the kind of that. Click add, then allow port TCP from any sources that I have done that. Now, when I go back to secure group, which I did that, I will see on top, oops, sorry about that. I will see the top security. Sorry about the spelling. <laughs> I will see on top security is associated with interface, not subnet. I go now what I'm going to write here. I'm going to go to public subnet dot three and associate that so that when any VM boot up in this subnet we get RDP and that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the public subnet tree and associate that, okay? So let's go back to right here. See, this is secure right, right here. Right here. See that secure group right here? I'm going to go on the left side. I'm going to say subnet. Then I'm going to say associate. I'm going to pick my NIC card, my VNet right here. But I'm going to associate with what? Dot tree. Okay. Okay. Why I do that? Because any server boot up from this machine is going to give that uh, that secure group so if, if I go back to the home if I go network secure group right now if I go back home again I'm sorry okay if I go to VNet let's go to VNet let's go to here and there's something called what right here subnets see that subnet number three is associated with this security group okay now let's go test that. Make sure it's working. Go to virtual machine. Go back to I'm sorry. Go back to home again. I go to virtual machine. I go back to this guy. Well, actually, I have right here. This is the old IPS. I mean, it did not work. So what I'm going to I'm going to press refresh. See now it's working. Why is that? Because I allow the what HTTP port. Again, why is working? Because if I go back to home, if I go back to security group. That was security group, right? If I click on this guy, if I click on, as you see that, I have both RDP and what? HTTP, okay? And again, is is attached to my interface and also I add to one subnet, which is subnet.trees. So everything go, working good right now, okay? That's what's right now. I will do another lab which shows the difference between secure group, associate interface. I'm going to do another lab which shows the difference. Now I'm going to do the same concept as before, but this time I'm going to boot a VM on what? Dot three. I will give. I will give a name Virginia Web Server Three. I install IS and create that. 
and we're going to put this page again. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to my home again. Because remember, the goal is to have two virtual machines. I'm going back to a virtual machine. This is virtual one is, I'm going to add another one right here, add virtual machine, okay? I'm going to put the same security group that we have right here. I'm going to call it Virginia Web Server 3, okay? I'm going to put this, this, then here I'm going to put what? Windows 2019 Server again, right? Here, leave it in default, I'm going to put my first name, Hamid. My last name, then I'm going to put a password. Then I'm going to put a password. Okay? Now here, watch this. This is key things. Look at my notes. Okay? So we're going to give a name. On the portal, we will see this. Okay? Inbound portal rules. Select which virtual machine network ports are accessible from public internet. You can expect a more limited or granular network in, networking tab. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to say no because later on a networking tab, I can make it granular. Okay. So if eventually here, what I'm saying that I'm not going to do anything here. Okay. Look what happened. None. Okay. So I'm, I'm not going to do that because next tab I can do more granular. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to leave it as default everything skin here. Here's a key. This is vnet one ask button. I'm going to pick on what? Subnet dot what? Three. Be careful. Dot three right here. Okay. That's good IP address, right? Now look what happened. Here, look what happened. This the selected security group. Let me close this. The selected subnet dot three is already associated with network security group, which is that. We recommend that managing connect to this virtual machine via the existing network security group instead of creating new rule. So I'm not going to create new security group because already this subnet has that security group. Okay, so that's why I said that. You know, we do it this on which tab? Networking tab. You know, the one before that we didn't do it. Okay, so so that's why I say my notes right now. Okay, on network tab we follow this. We're going to put that and network security and give us a none. Then you will see this. The selected security this is already associated with network security group like that. We recommend managing connecting we are using this, okay? Since I have already associated security with this network which has RDP, I don't need to do anything here, okay? So we're not going to do anything. Again, I go to management tab, advance that, attack that, pick default, then review and create that. So let's do that one. So I go management tab. I'm not going to do anything, boot, identity, all of that. I'm going to leave it as default. Advanced. I'm not going to put anything here, nothing to touch that. Tag, we're not going to put tag. Create. Okay. Then create. So right now I'm creating my what? Second virtual what? Machine. Okay. As you see, what it's going to do, it's going to create IP address, it's going to create interface, and it's going to create the bunch of other stuff, which I wrote on my notes. Now we're going to create this resource and we will see the virtual machine will use a security group. Oops, sorry about that. That we had associated. So it's going to use the same security before. It's going to have an IP address. It's going to be called like that. It's, this is network interface. It's, this is web server tree. It's going to add these numbers. It's going to have this and also virtual machine. Okay. Now if I go to my virtual, virtual web server tree networking tab then on the right side you will see allowing rdp and htvbm so let's just wait this comes up so i'll go back to my machine again okay it's finished i go back to home i click all resources okay now look at this if i click type here nicely okay this is for disk this is this for that number trees this is network interface for number one, and this network interface for number three right here. This is the secure, I have that. This is a public IP address for number one, and this is public IP address number three, and this is virtual machine is for number three, and this is virtual machine like that, okay? So I go back to vir virtual machine number three right here, okay? All right, click on networking right here. Now watch this, see? It already has what? These guys, HTTP. Okay, see, it already has what? Effective security. If I click this, 
it already has what? Let's wait. So that means when I install IIS, it's going to have RDP and HTTP. Why? Because I attach that security group to the subnet. And the subnet CDI has all of that stuff right here. See? Associated with what? This security group. Okay? So what I'm going to next, now I'm going to RDP to virtual machine and install IIS again. So I go back to my what? All resources. Go back again. You can go home. Doesn't matter how you get there. You can go to virtual machine top. You can click web server tree right here. Click connect on the top. Okay. And RDP. Now look at this. It got 10.0.3 network. You always get four because that's first value IPS. You can go to RDP. Then what I'm going, I'm going to download this right comes right here I'm gonna click here I'm gonna click connect then I'm gonna put my user and password which I create that during my setup then I'm gonna put my password now I should be able to RDP to this then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do exact same thing I'm gonna install IRS and then after you install IIS, what I have to do, I go to C drive, inet, pop, www root, I create a text document it's called index.html. And inside index.html, I create a basic homepage. Then remember that I have to rename that. How do I do rename that? I go to folder option. I go to search for the option. On the top, I type in what? Uh, view and then I rename it, I uncheck that thing, then I rename them file. So let's wait this comes up, okay? So as this comes up, let's summarize what we have done. I have virtual machine number one, right here. Okay, when I go to networking, tab, it has already what? Security group right here has already been HTTP, okay? And then, okay, then we have what? We have server three right here. If I go to network it has both of them allowed, okay? So I can do RDP and HTTP, I don't have to worry about them, okay? If I go back to home, I have a VNet, which I create VNet. That's my VNet I created at the beginning, 10 0 16. Inside that one, I have a bunch, I create three what? Subnets. Subnet.1.2.3 and subnet.3 I associate with that network security group. Okay, I can associate this with this security group too. Also, we can, but I didn't do it. Okay, now let's go back to my machine. Let's see it's up running. I'll go back to here. Okay, that's good. So don't show this. I go back to here. I go back to the local server right here. I turn off this because this is kind of like a. Um, give you a problem so this is got IE security I'm going to turn this off okay off off okay then what I can do I can go I can go here manage add rule and future or I can go to dashboard and top right here add rules and future doesn't matter because I want to add what IS I'm going to say next next this is original web server tree is next. Then I'm going to install IIS right here. Add future. Next. 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 And then what? Install. Okay. So right now I'm installing what? IIS. Okay. It's going to take a little slow for this one. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to name this so I can see better. Virginia Web Server 3. Okay? All right. So as not doing that, let's just wait. Oops. Okay. 
right here. I go to server manage right now. Open that, right? Make sure it's finished, right? It's installed right now, okay? So we gotta wait until it's finished, right? So it's installing right now. I can close this guy right here because there's a notification here. It shows the progress, okay? Now what I can do, I can go back. Again, make sure you're doing this inside machine, your own machine. Don't do that. I go back to here, folder right here. Then I'm going to go to where? This PC, you're going to go to C drive right here. This is C drive right here. You go to INET Pub, right? You go to WW root and create a new what? Text document index.html. Okay? I double click this. I wrote down this exact same thing HTML. This is Virginia Web Server 3. Okay? Then I close it, HTML, my tag, okay? Close, save. Again, I realize this is text document, it's not good. So what I have to do, I have to go back to my um, search box right here. Okay? So that comes up. Just have to wait a little bit. I'm gonna say folder option. So it takes a little bit of time. Okay. Let's just backspace, just say folder right here. Show hidden files and folder right here, right? Right here. This is already on the view tab. You go to view tab. You go to what? Uncheck this. Apply, right? Click OK. Now this one now shows what? It shows index edition. I'm going to right click this and rename that. Okay. I'm going to say yes. Okay. Then inside this, I got to go back to my, make sure you're inside that. I'm going back to here. Then I'm going to say local host. I should be able to see my word page. Local. Ask me later. Local host. I should see a region web server what three right here, which is good. So this is 185 is. Now let's go back. Let's see. Let's go back to virtual machine. I'm sorry. I go back to home, I go back to my virtual machine. I want to make sure I can check from public, from my laptop, from my laptop. I go web server three. I'm going to copy this 184 right here, copy that. I open new tab and I should be able what? See the content. Why I see the content? Because I have both RTP and HTTP open, okay? So life is good. So I've done that, okay? Now look what happened, this is extra. Seated at Virginia Web Server 1, I try to ping 10.3.0.4. So I go to Web Server 1, I want to ping this guy. Okay, let's go see if he does work. So this is Web Server 1, it's right here. Okay, this is Web Server 1 right here. Okay, so I go to my command prompt. Oops, right here the search box, I type in CMD, okay, it's coming up, be patient, I click here, I type in IP config, that's my IP at dot one dot four is, I'm going to ping my, my other PC, ping 10 dot zero dot three dot four dot three dot four is the web server three is minus t okay you see ping does not work okay now why ping does not work 
What do you think? Think about it. Okay. Remember that ping use what? Ping using what? ICMP. So what I have to do, I have to go back to my security group. I have to allow, I already have RDP and what? HTTP. All I have to do allow ICMP. Okay. So that's what I said that. If I try to ping this, as we see, it doesn't work. Why? Since my security group is not allowing ICMP. So let's modify security group to allow ICMP. So let's go back again. I go back to here. I go back to home in the top. Okay, I searching. I already have a search memory right here. See that? I click security group again. I pick network security group, right? I go back to this security group. Okay. I go back inbound rule. As you see, there's no ICMP. I'm going to add. I'm going to say from any source, any this, any destination here. I'm going to put just ICMP, the word ICMP, okay? Allow. And uh, here, probably it doesn't matter. I'm going to say ICMP. Add. So right now, ICMP has been added. Let's go see if the ping is still working. Still ping is not what? Working. Why is that? That's not Amazon is, that's, uh, I'm sorry, that's not Azure, that's a problem with what? Windows is, because Windows has its own firewall. That's what I said on my notes right here. When I go back and check the ping, I will see it's not working. Since Microsoft has its own what? Firewall. So you want to go to VM uh, machine version server 3 and go to control panel and disable the firewall. And that should be able to what? Work for us. Okay? So let's go back to this machine. This is web server trees right here. Okay. Okay. So I go back to here. This is web region website under in the search box. I'm going to type in what? The word firewall. Okay. Because Microsoft has its own what? Firewall. So what do you want to do? I'm going to go to back right here. Sorry about that. Right here, Windows Defender. I'm gonna just turn off the what defenders. I do this and click OK. Okay, I close that. And I can if I go back to if I minimize this, I go back to other machine. Now it's working. See, I can ping the other machine. Okay. So that's it. That summarizes everything we've done. That basically what we did. Let me summarize. At home, first we created what VNet right here right here. After creating VNet, I have this network 10.0.0.16 and inside that one I create a bunch of subnets, okay? I create subnet.1.2.3 then I install virtual machine, then I create a secure group and that secure group I associate with this guy, okay? Then I went and I boot up what? Bunch of machine, virtual machine. I boot up virtual 1 and 3, okay? And it's so IIS and we test everything. Now, why we can work? Because the secure group, everything working, work, everything working fine. Again, if you have any question or comment, you can contact us right here or you come here. Again, these courses we offer at Amazon uh, Azure classes, we have a fundamental, we have administrative, we have solution research and also technology, okay? So, if you have a question, you can contact us via the email or our phone number right here. So these are Azure Fundamental. We have the classes right here. If you need Azure Fundamental, that's much easier, okay? Here's the contact form. You can put your first name, last name, everything like that, and put our phone number, okay? Again, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this training. You have a good day. And down the road, we're gonna, I'm going to create more video for this topic. Thank you. Have a good day.